every angler has a favorite time to chase fish with a fly. Whether it be during the blossoming spring, the green of summer, the colors of autumn, or during the cleansing white of winter. It merely offers a backdrop to a pursuit that has attached itself to the soul of a fly fisherman. Rod, reel, fly, and fish. Under that log, behind that rock, or deep in the dark blue could live a fish of a lifetime. Oh, he got it! He hit it! It's in that helpless hope that an angler will march from year to year in a lifetime hoping the next cast connects dreams and a fish of legend. Welcome to Seasons on the Fly. Welcome to Seasons on the Fly. I'm Greg Heister. The peacock bass, it's not even a bass. Oh yeah, he's got yeah. it. Yeah! But it's big, it's powerful, and man is it beautiful. And it lives here. A place where the birds are striped with vibrant colors, the dolphins are dipped in pink, and the trees are so large and endless, and they are the green of all greens. It's a jungle full of sounds and a proud people populating its bank. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Seasons on the Fly, and welcome back to Brazil's Amazon River. Ooh, there's a bump. Oh, ah, there, there you go. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, there's some there's good oh. fish in here. Oh, that's a good that's one. A, there you oh, go. God. Oh. <laughs> that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Few places, few rivers offer a traveler a greater sense of awe than the Amazon. Uh, yeah. Nice! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy! It's a region that in places feels unexplored. It's earth so large, it's impossible to put it into context. It represents 20% of the global freshwater discharge to the ocean. They all think they're 20 pound fish. I mean, the way that they fight, and you've seen that this week, the way Apaka fights is just, they are the perfect fly rod fish. And they will just rip line from your hand if you're not careful. There he is, there he is. Oh yeah, good one. On you? Yep. Nice. Oh, there's another one. If you have any inkling at all of coming to the Amazon and catching a peacock bass, this is the place to do it. It's a drainage basin that empties over 2.7 million square miles. There's controversy over what's longer, the Amazon or the Nile River. Both are thought to be over 4,000 miles long, but this basin is the largest on the planet. Our guides know every inch of these lagoons and lakes. And I mean, this place is just a maze and they're constantly taking us to new places, but they're places that they've grown up fishing all their lives. And when there's a lot of water, oh, there. There. I got them too. <laughs> it means there's a lot of fish. Life is good, my friend. Oh my God, jumper. <laughs> oh yeah, go Jake. You know, we can talk all day about catching the big peacocks, and we certainly have caught those. Matt, well done, man. But, you know, one of my favorite things is to get into those frenzies. You literally could pull 25 or 30 of them out where you throw your fly in there and you strip it back, and one eats it, and there's six just going crazy all around it. Go. And you're handing the rod tip over to Rodrigo so he can quickly get the fish off, and then it's quickly just another flip in there, another strip, and bang, another Jeez, fish. Man. Oh, there's two, there's three fish there. See them, oh. see them? And you do that for like a half an hour, and sooner or later, man, you've stacked up 20, 25, 30 fish. It's yeah, crazy yeah. Nice. when oh, that happens. Him, him. <laughs> oh my God, same fish you think? The peacock bass. There you go, oh, go. there you go. Oh God, that was <laughs> It's ferocious, they've been that known to wreck bad. tackle. Oh my God, and this is a butterfly, I think. <laughs> and they are the grade one predator in these waters sharing space with piranha and caiman. Michael Williams spends much of a calendar year here, exploring, fishing, and introducing others to this mythical place. Well, it's a big challenge about a river like this. We're on the Watama River and the Jatapu Rivers. You know, these waters change and they fluctuate every day. They'll come up a, a foot or down a foot. 
and you know in the in the five weeks that we're here this will drop 10 to 15 feet overall there's a fish there you go there you go uh -oh. Ooh, what you got there get out of there Perfect rod position, you're fighting him well. And what that means is, yeah. there might be a really big fish in this one spot today, but he's in a completely different place the next day. All of our guys know that knowledge, and they know where to take you to those fish. Well yeah. done, Greg. Hey, he's in the yeah. net, look at that big guy. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Nomadic Waters has found a home here, a floating lodge like few others, and an experience that can leave an angler sore after a week of catching endless peacocks. Nice! When Seasons on the Fly continues, a Georgia peach of a guy, the birds of the Amazon, and fishing with a soul. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. To find out the truth about chronic Lyme disease, go to SeasonsOnTheFly.com. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Loop. Join the Loop Army and help take North America by storm. And by the Restigouche River Lodge. Come fish the land of the giants. Don't wait to watch Seasons on the Fly on television. Find our YouTube channel or watch us on Vimeo. And you can now download the Seasons on the Fly app and watch us on Apple TV and Roku. It's Seasons on the Fly on your schedule. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. Don't let the Seasons on the Fly experience end when the show does. Go to SeasonsOnTheFly.com to watch all kinds of video, including fly tying demonstrations, full episodes, and you can support the show by buying a hat or a DVD. Your support is greatly appreciated. And you can follow Seasons on the Fly on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you on the water sometime. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. And by Honda, power when and where you need it. Mornings come early on the mothership. The guides with a daily huddle and anticipation grows during a short boat ride in bass trackers. And so we came back down here kind of with an open mind and a sense of excitement. It's not long and casts are made, strips are worked, and fish are grabbing. Ooh, oh, oh, this one's Me? a little better. Oh yeah, this one's a little better. This one's a little better. This one, oh yeah, yeah this one's better. This is a big fish. Uh, to try and, and get a world-class fishing show done featuring peacock bass on the Amazon River, and once again, nomadic waters in this river, in this ecosystem, this environment, this region, it did not let us down. We caught so many fish. And little fish to big fish uh, in tight spots, into deep water. We had to use sink tips. We used floating lines. We changed our tactics and the way we were double stripping. You know, sometimes the fish ate it. The faster you get the fly moving, the better. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh, good one, grande, oh. grande, grande. Or other times you're just creeping it, you know, and they would eat it. And so there's just great versatility when catching these fish down here that I love. My name is Jake Darling and I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> fish. Fish? Yeah. Oh, good one. Decent. Oh, big. Oh, oh, he's in the lumber, he's grande. in the lumber. Jake Darling, a fly shop manager and guide from Georgia. He's a warm water specialist and is a bass master with a fly rod. Although the peacock isn't a bass, they look like one, but it's a different classification. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Some gratification just to make in the cast. You know, you make that, that sweet shot back in there and you just know, oh, that's, that's going to be the one. Yeah. And so, like, you know, the way I think about it is if you can get to water that's untouched by other anglers, then you get to fish that are unpressured. Oh! Oh! oh he got hammered! <laughs> Jake was taught to fish by his father and was casting into buckets in the backyard at an early age. Started playing with a fly rod when I was about five years old. Started fly tying when I was 10. Jake was 14. His dad passed away. Jake grew to love to fish like his dad and it continues to shape his life today. That's really one of the big reasons why I do what I do. 
For two years, I didn't pick up a fly rod. I went off to college, got a soccer scholarship, and one day I just decided, you know, I was like, I'm, I want to go home, and I want to study school there, and, and I want to get in the fishing industry. Big mouths, big heads. Oh! oh it's his first trip to the Amazon, and those days of having to hit the bucket in the backyard have paid off. You know, I've fished a lot of fallen timber and things like that for bass. Never have I set out in a hundred degree air temperature and tried to shoot it in between mangrove sticks as far back in there as I could get it. So it makes it, it's challenging, but it also makes it rewarding too as well. There it is. Got a fish? Yeah. Each of the peacocks have a name, the butterfly usually smaller, but beautiful. The paca, variegated and aggressive and the asu generally the larger fish and have piercing red eyes there are others but these three are the most commonly caught this week oh 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 oh, oh. oh there you oh, oh it's, better one it's all been been fun you know they've, they've all been great it's oh, it's in the wood it's just so satisfying to have to work for something that hard you know you're working really hard for a few moments of, of sheer terror you know and so that's it's cool. Somewhere nearly 2,000 miles from the Atlantic Ocean, dolphins swim in these waters. And some are pink, adding color to this tapestry. Pink because as these dolphins age, their skin becomes transparent, and you can see their blood. And often these mammals will swim under the boat looking for an easy meal. It's, it's the overall experience. You know, as anglers, a lot of times we get caught up in just catching the fish, but to stop and look around and see the birds and the scenery and you know the animals like the pink dolphin and the caiman it's it's all what makes a really great experience when seasons on the fly continues from pink dolphins to birds colored like a rainbow a mothership fit for royalty and the purpose of nomadic waters seasons on the fly is brought to you by the new SOF UV adhesives, industrial grade, tack free, and a complete line of colors, sparkle, and you won't beat the price. Change the way you tie flies. And by Tarpon Key Lodge in Belize. Catch a grand slam before breakfast. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. A reminder, please support our sponsors without them this show is impossible. You can do that by going to seasonsonthefly.com clicking on their logo, and let them know that you support them and that you're part of the team. Thanks for watching Seasons on the Fly. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Northwest, Southwest, Eastern, and American Fly Fishing Magazines, the best mags in the business. And by SeasonsOnTheFly.com. Don't let the experience end when the show does. And by the brand new Seasons on the Fly Lodge, the SOF experience continues on Alaska's Quijack River. There are 15 tributaries in the Amazon basin larger than the Mississippi. Ooh, there's a fish. See? Big fish. Big fish. The mothership of nomadic waters is powering up one of those tribs in search of trophy peacock bass. <laughs> nice! Unbelievable how hard they hit and he came out of nowhere. The days are filled with top shelf food and the support from an amazing crew. Nightly strategy sessions with the guides allow knowledge to flow as the week progresses. So when the sun rises, it's a new day in the experience. Ooh, fish ate it, <laughs> hammered it right over that dead tree in the water. Oh my God. Ooh, this is a better fish too. Ooh, Grange. Wow. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> See that dead? Boom. <laughs> this day will include a break from fishing to visit a community along the river and days full of fish and awe-inspiring views and wilderness gets personal and purposeful. The purpose of Pneumatic Waters is to help these local communities. They desperately need our help and 
We help by hiring their, the, the men in their village to be our guides and we train them up so that they are as professional of a guide as you'll ever see. But you know, this year we surprised a lot of the communities. We'll drop off fuel, diesel, gasoline, we'll drop off enough medications for a whole year. Uh, that's always a great need for them, both of those things. Fuel is like gold around here. They come here to fish, okay? That's what everybody comes here to do. And when they visit the communities, they just leave with so much more than that. And that ends up making their trip for them. And it's, it's always the same. I've never had somebody say, oh man, I don't want to go to the community. Oh man, that was a waste of time. Uh, it just takes this experience to a whole different level that it's not just about fishing, and it's not just about being one in one of the most unbelievable ecosystems that we have on this entire planet, but it's about everybody kind of working together and a great teamwork that happens down here, and, and you sense the pride. People will not believe the words of your mouth until they feel the touch of your hands, which is when I mention having coffee with them and visiting their communities, it's, uh, that means a lot to them, and they get touched by that. Rodrigo and many of the guides grew up in these small, impoverished communities on this river. It's their home, and they work to bring a better life to those they care about. He, he wants people to come and get to know the real Amazon uh, rainforest and the Amazonian culture, and not just what they show on TV, like the recent forest fires. It's where I learned to uh, enjoy my family and to do what I love most, which is fish. And, uh, and work. Every day is different here. New water, a maze of travel, hours flanked with the unknown. From trophy peacocks, pink dolphins, to the birds of the Amazon. And we wrap up another show from the Amazon when we come back. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. Here's your chance to win a brand new Honda EU 2200i generator and a trip for two to Seasons on the Fly Lodge in Alaska. It could be yours simply by just registering. Go to SeasonsOnTheFly.com to learn more. And good luck, who knows, this could be your lucky day. Ooh, here we go, Phil. Big fish, big fish. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Dry Fly Distilling, handcrafted spirits made in the Pacific Northwest and by Wild Alaska Sport Fishing and Cruises. Come find the real Alaska. <laughs> Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Scientific Anglers, Fish, the Truth, and by Nomadic Waters, committed to offering the finest and most unique fishing adventures in the Brazilian Amazon. Go to nomadicwaters.com to find out more. There are no words large enough or dramatic enough to describe the Amazon. It's wilderness so raw and alive and so big that words are dwarfed by its enormity. How cool is that? That's perfect. So beautiful. And you'll be sitting there casting a fly and all of a sudden there'll be this screaming going on and you'll look up. Here comes a whole flock of scarlet macaws like bright crimson red scarlet macaws flying right over your boat. This is a, a place that you can come and really lose yourself. It's hard to explore and adventure in this jungle without feeling its importance. It's hard to come here and not leave changed. These fish so colorful, so ferocious, and they are certainly why an angler chooses to come. I'm not so sure when I plan my next trip they will be the reason that I return. Look at that beast. If landscapes inspire you and culture defines you, then a trip of a lifetime awaits you. I'm Greg Heister, and I'll see you next time on Seasons on the Fly. I'm not sure fly mattered. I'm not sure tactics mattered. I just think that if the fly got in the area of the fish, these fish are so aggressive, they would hunt it down, they would chase it down, and they would kill it. Eu fico, é, às vezes, assim, agitado. He gets oh. really excited and worried not to lose that fish. And when he finally, when you guys finally land the fish, like today uh, with you, 
Uh, he said he doesn't know if you noticed, but he got a little emotional when you guys caught that fish today. We really have it all here. I mean, you can you can find a point with the school of, peac of butterfly peacock bass. You can catch 20, 30 fish. I mean, we saw that on day one. But if you really want to change the pace, you can tell your guide, let's go trophy hunt this afternoon. He'll put you onto those big fish. So you have a lot of variety. People have this idea that they're just going to be absolutely covered with bugs, with mosquitoes. They have ideas that there are anacondas in every tree. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I have a four, four and a half year old son named Jackson. He comes every year. As a parent, I would absolutely never bring my son to a place that I didn't feel like he, that he was safe. He's a beast. He's a beast. <laughs>